How's it going guys? Hugh Richardson from OnlineBassGuitar.com here. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to learn and memorize every single note on the neck. So to do this, the only thing we really need to understand is something called the chromatic scale. Now the chromatic scale is a scale that contains every single note in Western music and it's made up of a continuous series of semitones. In case you're unaware, a semitone on the bass is the distance from one fret or one note to the note that's immediately one step above it or one fret above it in our case. So if I'm on this note here and I want to go a semitone up, I would go here. And this works all over the neck, so if I'm here and I want to go a semitone down, I go down to here. If I'm on a first fret and I want to go a semitone down, I go down to the open string. No matter which fret and which string you're on, this will always be the case. The next thing we need to understand are the notes within the chromatic scale. So if we start at the beginning of our musical alphabet, which would be A, we would have A, then A sharp or B flat, B, C, C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat, and then we're back at A. So how does this help us learn the neck? Well, the way that we would play through that chromatic scale is simply by playing every single note like this. And what you'll notice there is that's taken me all the way up the neck on one string. So if we know the notes that our open strings are tuned to, which are B, if you have a low B, E, A, D, G, and then C if you've got a six string, all we have to do is to take the note of one of the open strings, so I'll take A as an example, use that as a starting point, and then cycle around all the notes that are in the chromatic scale and match them up in sequence going one note to one fret. So if I start at A, the next one will be A sharp or B flat, then B, then C, C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp, E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat, A, and I'm back to the start. And I can keep going as for as many frets as I have. And if you're working from an open string that isn't A, so for example, D, you would just take D as your starting point and keep cycling around again. So D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp, G flat, G, G sharp, A flat, A, A sharp, B flat, B, C, C sharp or D flat, and then we're back at D. An exercise that I want you to try to solidify this in your memory is to go through each one of the strings and actually call the note names out loud as you go. This will help reinforce your knowledge of the chromatic scale. If you look at your hands when you're going through this, this will help you understand where all these different notes lie on the neck. And the more you do this, the more familiar you're gonna become. Understanding where all the notes are on the neck is really handy when you come to learn things like the major scale because it has a lot of different shapes and you have to know where all the notes are to see how all these different shapes fit together. To learn about how all these different shapes fit together, check out the lesson I've done on this by clicking the YouTube card up here. But if you found this lesson useful, of course, leave your comments and your thumbs up down below. And if this has been your first time here and you've enjoyed this lesson by all means consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss anything thanks again i'll see you real soon take care